Welcome back everyone to Lounge with Lenny. My name is Lenny. So today I decided to do a project with my daughter and we're gonna make caramel apples. So stay tuned and make sure to watch the video to the end. And as always, enjoy it. Caramel apples is a great project for you and your kids. And especially now, it is the fall season and it's a perfect time to pick the apples. I got 8 medium sized Granny Smith apples. I got them in the store, so they come with a layer of wax. And now I'll show you the easy way how to get rid of it. But if you went to the farm and picked your own apples, you can definitely skip this step. Bring the pot with water to a boil and dip the apples in for about 3 to 4 seconds. Remove them and wipe them down with clean paper towel. That's how you get rid of the wax. It is pretty easy to do, but remember that you have to work fast. And for this recipe you don't need no candy thermometer to cook the caramel, because I'm using Werther's original caramels. Transfer them on a sheet pan, put them in the freezer for 10 minutes to stop the cooking process. Remove apples from the freezer, take 6 inch wooden skewers and insert into the center of the apples. Put the apples into the fridge for now. Take 25 ounces of caramel candies and I wrap them. So here I call my daughter Anna to give me a hand. Unwrap all the candies and put them into the bowl. But make sure to keep an eye on your kid so they don't put the candies into the pockets. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, press the bell, press notify me to get notified about my tasty and delicious videos. Add 1 4 of a teaspoon of sea salt into the candies and 3 tablespoons of heavy cream. And now let's melt the candies. Bring the pot with water to a simmer, place the bowl with candies over it, make sure that the bottom of the bowl doesn't touch the water and melt the candies. It will take some time, approximately 15 to 20 minutes. Be patient. The candies are melted and the caramel is ready. Make sure to remove the apples from the fridge about 10 minutes before you're ready to coat them. And now let's start to coat the apples. Prepare the toppings ahead of time. I got mini M&Ms, sprinkles, chopped pecans, chopped peanuts, coconut flakes, and chopped Oreo cookies. But you can use whatever you want. Quickly coat the apples with the caramel and then dip it into desired topping. And you can also help yourself with the hand. It seems that it's easy to make, but you have to work extremely fast because caramel will harden very fast. If you see that the caramel is getting thick, put it back into the double boiler and repeat the process. If you have any tips how you coat the apples, comment down below. And my caramel apples are ready. When you are ready to eat them, just cut them with a knife. Or bite it if you have a good dental insurance. And as always, enjoy it. 